Hello, it's me, Sadie. Um, I thought I'd give you a quick update on the state of the Sadie. Um, so, yeah, since the last one, which was, um, I think, my transition vlog, or the past, I think it was the transition first appointment at the gender clinic, that was the first last one I did. Yeah, not much has changed in that respect. Um, I've had a letter saying, uh, from a doctor saying um, they'd like to issue me with a new female NHS number which means legally as far as the health service are concerned uh, I am female. Um, that's good in one way. Um, it doesn't mean I'll be getting applications for smear tests and stuff like that um, but it's good that they're getting there because I did have past issues at the hospital uh, because yeah I'm still using still on my former records and stuff so therefore um, I'm guessing they transfer it over. I'm not sure how it works. I'm gonna have to go and speak to them at some point when I have a chance. Yeah, other than that, um, you may notice the new red hair, which is proven a big confidence booth for me. Yeah, when your this, hair's this color, you stand out and you've suddenly become the center of attention. And for someone who used to shy away somewhat from that, yes, really, it's certainly been interesting learning to deal with the attention and it has been a massive confidence boost. Certainly I've become a bit braver with the stuff I wear since I went red. I've basically been a lot happier actually. And by braver I actually mean I was willing to brave shorts. Um, as you may know, normally I'm quite covered up. Uh, but since then I've been wearing like, um, I bought a Kiosar dress with like a fully open back and pentagram harness down there and stuff like, stuff like that I would have never worn before. So yeah, it's confidence is a big thing and sometimes standing out and forcing yourself into it is a good thing. And in fact, that's pretty much how I work with confidence. For stuff like coming out or going to the gender clinic, I could not have done it um, unless without making it a fait accompli by being living full time for six months beforehand. And then it's like, well, I've got that far, then I might as well go to the register for the clinic. So yeah, it certainly works. That's how it seemed to work with me. And yeah, I will definitely say, well, recognize it for everyone, but certainly making a change can be a very positive thing. And I would certainly agree with that. Well, I think I'll leave my vlog in there. Um, partly because I've got a horrible feeling it's about to rain and yeah, I don't want to get too wet. As I say, I'm currently on Cathedral Green um, and I'll give you a quick overview of it um, before I go. So yeah, take care and I'll speak to you very soon. <laughs>